One of the biggest challenges personal trainers have is overcoming objections to get clients. And so in this video here today, I'm going to share with you the real reason why you're getting objections. Hey, Lee Constantinou here, founder of Personal Trainers Elite, helping personal trainers attract high end clients and grow their income with online marketing. And in this video here today, I'm going to share the real reasons why you are getting objections, but also how to overcome them before they come about. And so really when you get an objection at the end of a consultation, it's usually because there was something missing from the beginning. And so we have to look back at what happened in that discovery portion when we were asking them questions for them to have that objection. And so it really comes down to three parts, okay? So first of all, they need to have belief and certainty in themselves, okay? Belief and certainty in themselves. They need to believe that they can do it, right? And a lot of people who struggle with their fitness lack a lot of that belief because they've maybe struggled for a few years or it's something that they can't seem to figure out. So in that consultation, what you need to do if you wanna instill that belief is help them realize why they haven't managed to do it yet, what was missing from them for them to feel stuck. So you need to be able to instill that belief in them as you're asking these questions to help them understand why they've been struggling and what was missing. And then they need to have certainty. They need to have certainty that they can actually do it. Because it's great if they believe it, but now they need to believe that with certainty that they cannot fail within themselves. And this is probably one of the hardest things to get people to do, especially if it's been a long time, they've been struggling. But if you can get them to have belief and certainty in themselves, they are going to be more sold on the idea of getting help from you. And so they need to be sold to themselves before they can be sold to you. Which takes me on to the second point. They need to have belief and certainty in you. They need to believe that you can absolutely help them with the problems that they have in their health and their fitness. They need to believe truly that you are the person that is qualified and able to help them. So you wanna be positioning yourself in a way so that once you start presenting what you do, you are showing them, right? Not just giving them a list of prices, but showing them how the things that you do specifically are going to help them with their specific problems. And this is really powerful when you do this because once they have belief in you, they're gonna slowly start coming around to the idea of working with you. And then they need to have certainty. They have to feel certain that you are the person that's going to lead them on this journey. They need to know truly and believe that you are the right person to help them. And so you want to ask questions that establish why they've maybe struggled in the past. And maybe if they've had a trainer in the past, what was missing so that you can be the person, the trainer, who's going to fulfill the things that was missing. Maybe there wasn't enough accountability. Maybe there wasn't enough personalization. Maybe there wasn't enough external support outside the training. And so if you can show them that you are going to provide all the things that were missing, but also really build that empathy with them during that consultation, they're going to have massive confidence that you're able to help them. And so when you're asking questions, always share things about your personal journey as well or other clients. A great way of actually helping them believe in you is by talking about other clients who've come on this journey with you, had success, so that they can start imagining having that same success with you. And then the third belief they need to have and certainty is in your service. They need to fully feel confident that the thing that you're offering, the way you're going to train them, coach them, help them, whatever it is you are going to do, is absolutely going to help them. They need to really believe that, right, this is all I was missing, right? Because once they believe in themselves and they truly feel that they can do it, and then now they believe in you're the right person because you've built that empathy and that connection with them, now it's all about just showing them that exactly what you do is going to benefit them. And so one of the ways you can do this when you're presenting your solution, your service, your program, 
is talking about the features and then the benefits, okay? So the benefits of how it's gonna enable them to stop struggling with binging or allow them to stay on their plan no matter what. Or for example, you might say, you're gonna have one-on-one -on -one accountability with me so that you can stop falling off track every week and so that you're able to stick with this long-term so that you never fall off track later down the line once we finish working together. And you have built those habits so that now that you have a lifestyle that you can stick with for the rest of your life, right? So you see how I took that concept of the accountability because they've been struggling with sticking to their plan, spoke about the benefits of having accountability and given them that future version of themselves, how they're gonna feel long-term by having this taken care of for them. And so your service needs to bring out the elements that is going to be tailored specifically for them. And once they feel and believe that your service is the thing they need, you are the person that they want to work with and that can help them, and they believe they can do it and now's the time, you'll be able to overcome many of the most common objections that you have when it comes to signing them up. And so just ask yourself, when you're in your next consultation or speaking to your next potential client, ask yourself these three things. Do they have certainty and belief that they can do it? Am I digging in to find out if they believe that they can do it? Do they believe that I can help them? Do they have certainty that I can absolutely help them? Am I showing them and bringing out enough confidence as I'm talking to them so that they feel confident in me? And am I presenting what I do and my services in a way that they're going to feel can help them and believe totally that this is the thing that they need. And when you do this in your consultations, you're gonna be able to overcome a lot more objections and not have so many of the most common objections around price and all the other things that people have because a lot of the time, many objections are smoke screens because they lack one of these three things. They either don't believe in themselves, they don't feel confident they can do it. They don't fully trust in you and feel like you're the person or they don't see how your service is gonna help them. And so when you overcome these earlier in the consultation, you're gonna be able to overcome those objections. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up so YouTube can show this to more people and so that I know you like these kind of videos. Remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you get notified every time I release a new training video. And hey, comment below if there's a question that you have around um, these three beliefs and certainties that people need to have, comment below or come over to Facebook inside the Personal Trainers Elite community, ask your questions, be a part of our close-knit community of personal trainers who are leveling up their knowledge, their, their abilities to help more people and impact more lives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.